Hello friends. Now next question is on Kamen follower of roller follower with offset position. So in this first we will create a base circle which having radius RC. After then we will make a circle which having radius of uh, base circle and roller radius. So final radius is RC plus RR. And after then this is offset circle which having radius X. As this is offset position, so we'll make a vertical lines tangent to this offset circle, and we'll put the fo follower, that is roller follower, like this. Now we'll divide this circle in angles like phi a, delta one, phi d, and delta two, like this. Now phi a, we'll divide this in six equal parts. Now we'll draw lines tangent to offset circle and passing through points like this. And we'll mark the displacement on these lines. We'll join by a smooth curve all the points step by step. After then, we'll make a roller circle on each point, and the final cam profile will be tangent to these circles. So this is cam profile. Like this, we'll complete this numerical. So now this is the question. In this first, the minimum radius of the cam is 25 mm. Having roller radius that is 7.5 mm radius. Also, the lift is 28 mm, so h is equal to 28. X is given as 12 mm. Angle of ascent phi a is equal to 60 degree, and angle of descent phi d is equal to 90 degree. Both having uniform acceleration and deacceleration follower motion. Next, delta one is equal to 45 degree, and delta two is equal to 165 degree. Also, the speed of cam that is 200 rpm. So we can say simply capital N is equal to 200 rpm. In this, we have to draw the profile of the cam, and we have to calculate maximum velocity and the uniform acceleration for both. Okay. So in this, first we calculate angular velocity that is 2 pi n by 60 equal to 20.94 radian per second. Now we'll move on to make. The follower displacement diagram. So first we have uniform acceleration and deacceleration. So first we will create a rectangle box and this phi a is in the horizontal side that is having 60 degree and h is equal to 28 mm. So for phi a we will take a suitable scale and we will divide this phi a in 6 equal parts after then we will draw vertical lines. Now we will divide the center lines in 6 equal parts. Now we will make a diagonal from bottom left corner to top right corner and we'll join two points like this now we'll mark the intersection point from 0 dash to 6 dash like this and we'll join all the points so this is the displacement curve for follower rise now next is for dwell so dwell angle is 45 degree so we'll take a suitable scale and we'll make like this the next is uniform acceleration and deacceleration for follower return. So same. First, we'll make a rectangle box in phi d, and h is in vertical side. Now we'll divide this phi d in six equal parts. We'll draw vertical lines, and we'll make a diagonal. We'll make a diagonal like this, and the center line we have already divided in six equal parts. And same like we will join all these points. Now we'll mark the intersection points from 6 dash to 0 dash like this I will join all these points and this is final displacement curve for follower return and last one is for dwell so now further we'll go for the camp profile so in this first we'll make a base circle after then with the base circle and roller radius we will create a circle and this is x that is offset circle and uh, this is offset distance so now we will divide this circle in angles that is phi a delta 1 phi d delta 2 and we will divide this phi a in 6 equal parts same phi d in 6 equal parts now we will draw lines tangent to this offset circle passing through the points like this as this is offset position of the follower same for phi d we'll make lines tangent to offset circle passing through the points now we'll mark the displacement on each line from 0 dash to 6 dash and for this for angle of descent also from 6 dash to 0 dash and we'll join all the points like this 
Now we'll draw a roller circle on each points having radius 7.5 mm and we'll draw a tangent curve to all the circle and this is the final cam profile now we will calculate the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration for follower rise so in this vmax is equal to this 1120 mm per second and the uniform acceleration is 44800 mm per second now same for follower return we'll calculate maximum velocity that is 747 mm per second and second is maximum or we can say uniform acceleration so the value is 19900 mm per second